Fortnite Made Night. Guys, we are switching it up today because this game right here is made from the creator of The Man From The Window. And of course, the other three games as well that we've played. So anything made from this developer, I play. The Midnight Maids are a small local cleaning service. After their two o'clock appointment at Rumpley Council's on them, they suddenly find themselves short on funds. They need some money. They need some money. To make up the difference, they accept a side job moving items out of a client's newly purchased mansion. However, the job proves to be more difficult than expected when the estate's unresolved history begins to resurface. Let's dive right into it, guys. Be sure to smash that thumbs up button if y'all want me to play more more of these kind of games and subscribe for more gameplays just like this oh my gosh with these characters we got naomi here okay but really it makes sense first you replace a single plank on the ship then another and you keep going until everything has been replaced and nothing from the original ship is left then you ask is it still the same ship and if not when did it stop being the ship of theseus <laughs> Ruth, what is that? Wouldn't it be easier to just build a new ship instead of going through all of that? Naomi says, Ruth, that's not the point. It's a thought experiment. Well, if you ask me, Theseus needs to quit thinking so much and go stop his ship from being dismantled. So they're just having a conversation back and forth. Maybe that's the point of all of this. Don't get distracted by silly little details when someone's out to get you. I don't. I think we're getting off track here. Oh, hold on. My phone's going off. Dot, dot, dot. Shoot. What's wrong? Our two o'clock just canceled on us. So yeah, they were having a conversation as they were driving to their appointment, but their appointment just canceled on us. Uh-oh, why is that? I'll read her message for you. Okay, so, gotta cancel the appointment. Owner found out and isn't happy. Says she'd rather clean the place herself. And that was our last appointment for the month too. There is one more we could do. No, we're not doing that one. Well, we have to do something here. If I miss one more payment, they're gonna take the van. Then that's the end of the Midnight Maids. And I don't think either of us wants to start looking for a new career path at this point. Ruth, you're killing me, I swear. We don't even have to clean the place. Just move a few boxes and drop them off afterwards. We'll be in and out before you know it. Dot, dot, dot. Let's go. Okay, attitude. That's the Naomi I know. We'll be there in no time. <laughs> Big Mama Ruth. I'm already getting bad vibes from this place, man. I'm not too thrilled about it either. So they're at the mansion. But the sooner we get started, the sooner we can get out of here. I know, I know. It's just... All right. What's first on the agenda? I'll check. She's reading her phone. The estate has been sold and the previous owner's possessions are being auctioned off tomorrow. We hired some movers, but they unexpectedly left a few hours into work and haven't replied back yet. The previous owner is currently unavailable, so I need you to finish the job. All you need to do is pack up whatever items are still left and drop it off at my place. You have more empty boxes than you'll need to use. You may put any unneeded ones back on the bench. Sounds easy enough. Yeah, right. You send them a message and let them know we're here. I'll start packing up in here first. Okay, so we're playing as Big Mama Ruth right now. All right, this is where we're at. Man, this is a freaking huge mansion, bro. Look at all these rooms. They living, living over here. So let's go down the hall. I guess I can't go down the hall yet. Oh, maybe I need to get a box first. Okay, I got a box. Can I pick up more than, oh. You know, I got hold a few of them. Dang. All right, I can hold four boxes, y'all. Okay, let's put these books here. We're gonna pack the books. Do we need to pack up the mail? Bunch of freaking mail. We gotta get everything out of this house. All right, there we go. Get all of these papers up. Get this up. Boom, there we go. Ruth. There we go. That's this room taken care of now. I better go ahead and take this box out to the van. Be right back. Sure thing. So we're going to take this out to the van. Okay, there we go. Ruth. These boxes aren't full. Okay, so we put the full box in the van. <laughs> Look at our license plate. Oh, hey. Yeah. hey, we make it happen, my homie. They're so hip. I love it. All right, let's go and... Oh, who is that? Naomi says, oh, hey, Ruth, you didn't tell me that the old homeowner would be here. Scared me almost half to death when he showed up. 
terribly sorry about the fright, madam. He doesn't have a name. It says question mark, question mark, question mark. Though I do have a question I feel I must ask. Your attire suggests you're here for work. Please tell me, has something happened? You know Ruth has to tell him. Well, my friend and I were contracted to move things out before the new owner shows up. New owner? So we finally lost the estate then? Oh, they're losing the estate. I should have known, but never mind that. I must suggest you two return in the morning. Things tend to get very, very strange in this house at this late hour. Tomorrow, I can't do daylight, and I'm not nocturnal, so we only work at night. Besides, if we don't finish the job tonight, we don't get paid. I see, I see. Well, we can't have that. In that case, you'll need to keep a close eye out for my father during your work. Your father? The man had his fair share of demons in his life, and in his current state, he's only gotten worse. But don't worry. The lights in this mansion tend to react to the energy he gives off. Okay, so, so we gotta look at the lights. Should they begin to glow blue, then you know he's on his way. I'm sure you'd like to know what you should do at this point, right? Well, a family such as ours has had its share of enemies. And because of this, every room in this mansion has a secret alcove that can be used to hide inside. My father has long since lost the presence of mind to check these hiding spots. So you should be safe therein. Hey, y'all see the blue flames? We gotta go to the hiding spot, all right? Y'all with me? I wish I could tell you that he's not as bad as he seems, but he is. So it's best that you just avoid him outright. I'll leave you both. Peace out to get back to your work. Just pretend I'm not even here. Naomi says, I'd like for the record to show that I'm not okay with any of this. Naomi, hush. We'll be fine. Thank you for your help, sir. We appreciate it. Where'd he go? He's left already. He sure is a strange one. And the understatement of the year award goes to... Check time, check room status, nothing. That's it for this room. We got everything. Okay, let's check the time. Cause since Naomi got the big old, you got that big old freaking tablet phone. Look like an iPad or something. Check time, it's 2 a.m. The new homeowner is supposed to get here at six. So we need to finish up before then. Okay, so we got four hours. If we still want to get paid, that's it. All right, let's grab some more boxes here. Okay, remember the flames. If he comes, then we need to hop in here like this together. If the flames turn blue. So we gotta be paying attention to the flames. Oh man. Hello? One would not be able to tell it now, but our dining room used to be quite the grandest sight. All manner of patricians have graced this room. Though I sometimes wonder if they would still have visited had they known what truly went on here. Dude was cool at first, but he's starting to, you starting to creep me out, bruh, bruh, for real. What you mean what went on here? Okay, we can hide in there. We gotta be looking at the candles. Do we need to pack this stuff up? Dang, we gotta pack up all of this? Utensils too? Like, the freaking silverware too? And the mat? Bruh, I'm still looking at that candle. I can see one in front of me right there. And we got a secret alcove behind us right here. I'm trying to hurry up fast as I can. Here we go. Oh, there it is. Go, come on, it's blue, it's blue. Get in here. Uh-oh, the father, look. He's here. I think we barely made that, y'all. Okay, he's leaving. And they're back. That's crazy. Okay, let's hurry up. He would have got us right there. I had barely saw the flame. I guess we're not going to play as Naomi. But Naomi's here. It's 2.15 a.m. Okay, she's here as our time keeper. I wonder if I can clean the table from across. No. Ah, oh, that sucks. And we ain't like the smallest folk. Maybe he comes every 15 minutes. Let's just hurry up because don't we gotta freaking take this back to the van too, like. Oh, it's blue. Go, 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 go. He's back. All right. We're, we're doing good. We're doing good, y'all. Okay, he's out of here. So it is every 15 minutes, it looks like. Okay, let's get this up. Come on, hurry up. Do I gotta take the seats too? Okay, there we go. I could just clear this up. My freaking finger is like clicking like crazy. All right, let's check. Uh-huh, check the time. 226, okay. Wait, 
So it wasn't 2.30. Check room status. Okay, we got everything for this room. Let's go ahead and take this back to the van, but I don't want to go out just yet. I want to go after he comes again. So I think I'm just going to wait until these candles change. Hurry up and change. There it is. Soon as I said it. All right, we good. Come on. Hey, I got a little bit of speed. All right, let's put that in there. Grab another box. All right, what room we got next? Oh. Don't scare me like that. You both seem to be quite adept at this. I mean, I am, <laughs> I am pretty good, you know. I am, I am one of the best gamers, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm not. That other group of movers had already turned tail and ran by now. Cleaning houses is usually our specialty, but sometimes we have to take other jobs as well. And then I get dragged into some insane situation just because we need the money. Like last month, when we almost got buried alive in the church's basement. How does one end up in a predicament like that? Good question. Maybe it's because someone accepted without reading the entire job description. It said groundbreaking work, didn't it? How was I supposed to know? Do you see what I have to go through? My, my. You two sure are something else. I wish we had more help like you during my time. And where are my manners? I never introduced myself. My name is Joseph. Joseph Vermander. Wait, the Vermander curse? I'm Naomi. She's Ruth. It's an honor to meet you both. I don't mean to delay you, really. It's just nice to finally have someone to talk to after all this time. I'll let you return to your work. Wait, Vermander. The mansion. The... the, the wait, this is all starting to make sense. Okay, what time is it? 2.34. Okay, so we got... This room, this room out the way. Let's go down the hall to the right. Come on. Come on. Big mama's running. Big mama's running. Where's the candles? I don't see. Okay. Candles right here. What do we hide at though? Oh, over here. Is there anything in here? All right. We got a vase. Got some nice plates. Do we take these? Okay. Is that it in here? That's it for this room. We got everything. Okay. Let's just wait though. I know this is going to go blue. I'm on blue. There it is. And it's like he comes and checks the room that I'm in. All right, he's out. Can I fill up the other boxes or do I have to take this to the car? We got the bathroom right here. Okay, so we can. Nice. We can hide in here. All right. I know that the candles are going to start changing a lot faster as we start getting more time. 248. Let's go upstairs. What's up here? Bro, you can't even see a candle up here. You can see it right here. Okay, that's that's good. I don't even want to walk out from upstairs yet. I, I'm going to wait. You know what? Is there anything in here? Check room status. There's nothing in here that we need to pick up. Okay. Gosh, man. Place is too freaking big. Okay, that takes us to the room we were in. All right, we're going down this long hall. What is this? Like a masseuse? It's where you get massages at. All right, is there anything in here? Take all the boxes out. There's still more stuff in here to grab, Ruth. Okay, so we got to take the boxes out. Oh, shoot. Time is at 3.04. I'm trying to see why you're not picking up anything. You got a whole extra arm and hand. It'd be nice if Naomi was holding like some type of map of the house. All right, let's go. Okay, so if we make that right, we can go get those boxes pretty fast out of that room. Okay, so it's all the back of the house. So let's just start back here. What is this? Bro, what the heck kind of rituals going on in here? Do we pick this stuff up too? Oh, I guess we do. I mean, this is something I don't really want to pick up, especially stuff they doing rituals with, but I guess I'll pick it up. We got to make this money. We got a hiding place right there, so that's good. So I'm actually going to stay in this room till it turns blue. Ask her what time is it? What time it is? 326. Check room status. I think that's it. Let's get out of here. I don't like this room. All right, that's it for this room. Anything back this way that we missed? Okay, so this just wraps around. Oh, what's up, Joseph? Many a thankless meal has been prepared in this room. Why, I, of course, did my best to respect the help. Father wasn't always as accommodating. God forbid you incorrectly cooked a meal on one of his bad days. The ashes contained in that oven aren't just from wood, you know. Wait, Pops would throw you in the oven? He crazy. All right, let's get this box. Man, we got to get all these freaking boxes out of here. All right, let's do this. I know these might turn blue at any time. So, you know what? Let's just come this way just to be prepared. Then we'll go outside and put it up. You can kind of hear a sound before the candle turn like five to ten seconds before the i kind of think i hear it maybe 15 seconds before it turns maybe i'm just stupid and i don't know what i'm talking about 346 gosh i had more time than i thought i could have already ran this out to the van we'll put this up there we go okay we still got like eight rooms what happened what's up joseph it's getting rather late which means i should probably tell you about cornelius really who? A long time ago, he used to be one of my father's servants. A true paragon of a butler. 
I haven't one bad word to say about the man, but one cold January morning, a terrible blizzard arrived. And you and I both know how rare snow is here. The entire town was shut down. Our family had absolutely everything one might need in an emergency. Food, water, and enough firewood to last for days. However, father wasn't happy, for the man was accustomed to reading his newspaper every morning. Given the conditions outside, the paper obviously could not be delivered that day. But instead of occupying his time doing something else as a sane person would, he sent poor old Cornelius out to retrieve the morning paper from town. Father didn't even have the decency to give the man a winter coat to use. He just sent him out, wholly unprepared. Suffice to say, Cornelius didn't return. The man met his untimely demise out there in all the ice and snow. And now something appears outside every night, just past the gate. Something that used to be Cornelius. I do not know what happened to him out there in that blizzard, nor do I know what he wants. But when you venture outside, be sure not to stay out there for too long. Otherwise, you may very well end up face to face with him. So we got to deal with Cornelius now too, when we go outside. Gotcha. Okay, I know there's some rooms back here. We got to move quick now. Come on. Oh. Got a library, huh? A vast selection of tomes and books used to be housed in this room. We collected it all over generations. So much knowledge. Yet somehow, despite it all, we still weren't clever enough to save ourselves. Okay, let's pick up all of these books. Is there a candle? Okay, candle's right there. I'm moving, baby, I'm moving. Trying to see, get to where I can still see it. Okay, we got a candle there as well. All right, I'm gonna come back this way. I feel like it's gonna turn blue pretty soon. Think I can grab a few more. There it is. Whew. I wonder if the father is noticing anything gone. Or are you just coming and looking and leaving? Go get this one, this one. Grab this book. All right. I think we got a little time. Yeah. Check room status. The message says, pack up all the books. Pack up the candle. What about these? Do we pack these? I think that's it. That's it for this room. We got everything. Okay, cool. Please do not go blue. And this hall is like so far till we can get to the next freaking safe room. Oh, we got a basement. Yo. Oh. Whoo. Barely caught that. So it's like, I gotta pack things. I gotta come back and grab boxes. Try to find a way out the dang house. This place is too big. All right, let's be careful going out here. We got Cornelius, wherever he is. They told us to hurry up. I don't wanna meet Cornelius. What time is it? 421. We better pick up the pace. Yeah, we still got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we got a lot of rooms. All right, let's pick up the boxes. There we go. Can I drop box? Oh, oh, okay. I didn't see those towels. Kinda risky to go, but I'm going. Oh, shoot. I don't think I'm gonna make it. I don't think I'm gonna make it. No. There's like, oh, the wall is over there. Oh my gosh, I feel so stupid. Get in. We barely. They actually gave us more time than I thought. All right, we gotta pick up the pace. Just need a map, bro. I don't know this house. All the back room. Okay, so we know we gotta get these boxes up and I can only carry three. Um, Hello? I have one final thing to tell you both. I'd rather keep this particular story to myself, but for your own safety, I must tell you of Agatha. Oh my gosh, another character? Agatha used to be a part of the help. Like Cornelius, she was too an exemplary servant. Throughout her time here, both she and I grew close, very close. And despite knowing full well the impact it would have on my family's social status, I asked her to marry me. She and I didn't plan to elope and run away together. I didn't care that I was giving up my inheritance by doing so. I only wanted us to be together. But the night before we were to make our escape from this awful place, father found out. Father, his father is just, your father is so evil. Again and again, I asked him, where is she? And what have you done? He eventually answered me, though sometimes I wish he didn't. He told me that she was under the floorboards where she belonged. Then he went on about his day, reading his newspaper and having his breakfast like nothing happened. Agatha didn't deserve to end up like this. She'll probably wake up soon. Should you see the candle suddenly go out, you'll know she's in the same room as you. You know, I still try to talk to her, but she never responds. I don't think she recognizes me anymore. She just runs away if I even look at her. Oh shoot, Agatha. So if the candles just suddenly goes out, she's gonna be in the same room as us. Like really? Okay, this is our last box. Is that it in here? That's it for this room. We got everything. Okay. I just don't want the candles to suddenly go out. I'm not going that far down. I feel like they're gonna, something's gonna happen. So we got to watch the candle if it goes out or if it turns blue. Blue is for father. That's Agatha. She just popped up. 
She's right there. Look at her. Oh my gosh. Bruh. Can we go out? Oh. It won't let me open it. Do we just stay in here? Okay, he's coming. So maybe we just stay in here. Agatha pops out and then father comes and check. So we got to beat two people right now. That's pretty intense. I got to be honest. And I can't carry more. All right, come on. Agatha and father. Father put her under the floorboards. Wow, this is scary. Check the time. 4.53. Really don't want to go outside just yet. Well, we got Agatha, father, and Cornelius. He's outside. So we got three people. We still got a few more rooms to hit. There's a room right here. Go down to the left. Must be a box. Okay, she's here. Let's just wait. All right, I'm gonna make a rush for it this last hour. It's gonna be hard. Gotta watch out for Cornelius. Must be something that we missed in here, like a box. Something, okay, two boxes. Let's go put these two boxes out there. I think we got a little time. Okay. Ooh, I heard him. Oh! Oh! That was Agatha. But the candle was still on. It was still lit. Okay, we got one, two, three. We got like seven rooms. It's always the back. Okay, so we go all the way up. I mean, all the way up, make a left. 513. All right, so it told us to go all the way up. Basement. Okay, that should be good for the basement. Unless we're missing one. That's it for this room. Okay. Gosh, this is too long of a hallway. I feel like they're going to go out. All right, we'll just come in here. 526. I only got like 30 minutes. I ain't got that much time. Oh! oh, we only got like six rooms, brother, but they're all on the backside. Oh gosh, this is so intense. Okay, let's pick this up. Oh, I forgot about upstairs. Ooh, father, move. It's not that bad once you get the house layout. Like, I feel like I'm starting to get the house layout a little bit. I should be able to move a lot faster. See, I only got five rooms left, but I ain't got that much time. Freaking Agatha and everybody scaring me. 545, see? Whoo, I see you, Agatha. I saw you right there by the couch. Can I talk to you in here? Okay. Check time, 5.54. We only got five minutes till six. And we still got some rooms left. All right, it's six. I mean, we at least made it through. Did they put the bars down? The duo had worked throughout the night, right up until the last moment. However, they were unable to meet their agreed upon deadline. As the clock struck six, the new homeowner arrived. Angry that the mansion wasn't in the previous promised condition, the pair promptly left, leaving the disgruntled homeowner behind to deal with an untidy home and four restless guests. They were not paid for their efforts. Though they left the mansion unscathed, they were unable to find more work before the month's end, and the Midnight Maid's van was repossessed soon after. Having no way to continue their work, the two parted ways. They both eventually landed new dead-end jobs to make ends meet. Despite the inherent danger of being the Midnight Maids, they both truly missed their time working together. Wow, so we got our van freaking repossessed because we couldn't pay the bill? Wow. So that was one of the endings there. That was a sad ending. Let's see if I can get the great ending. I'm gonna do like a quick run through since I know where everything is. So consider this part like a fast forward. Big mama moving, baby. Big mama moving this time. And it's not like his father comes right away when it's blue. You still got some seconds, so now that we know that. So most of these back rooms on the back hall, almost all of them are already packed. So we gotta come to these rooms empty-handed, and we should be good. And then just take it back to the van. So when Agatha comes, we just gotta avoid looking at her. You can still keep moving. So that way you won't get in the in the hiding spot and waste your time. So all you gotta do is really worry about father. Agatha and Cornelia is kinda weak. So now we got us to pack up the back rooms, which is just all boxes. We just gotta move fast. We gotta run fast. We gotta run and then take these back. So we gotta Remember our route. When we come back in, we're gonna go in and to the right. We don't care about you either, Cornelius. All right, we got five rooms left. Let's do this. Just gonna go down this whole hall. Just one box, that's good. It's good for us. We got three in here. Uh-oh, this must be his father's room. This mansion has been in our family for generations, you know. After my father finally met his end, everything went to me. During my time, I tried my best to correct the past sins of my life. The help were treated fairly for once. I lowered the prices on all our properties. I even tried returning all those liberated artifacts we used to keep down in the basement. I was well on our way to pulling our family name out the mud, you know. But then somehow, Father became so enraged by my actions that he brought himself back from the dead to stop me. 
To be honest with you, I wasn't even that surprised. He broke just about every law he could while still alive. Breaking universal laws was the next logical step. He's actually the good guy. His father is the terrible one. All right, let's get back. We know Agatha is somewhere near us because of the candles. Just keep going. Father's coming. What time is it? 5.14. Oh, we're good. Come on. We got three more rooms. I got to make it quick. We don't have room for any hiccups. I kind of know this house like the back of my hand now. I don't know if I have room for another one. There's only one in this room. Let's hurry up and get back. Go, go, go. Big mama moving it. Come on, big mama. Candles out. Don't care. Got to get close to the room as we can. All right, they just went blue. Let's hop in here. All right, come on. We only have one box here, right? There we go. Then I believe this is our last room. How much boxes are in here? Just one. I think we're good. Unless father comes and takes us. I believe these are all the boxes. Oh man, I'm so anxious right now. There we go. Are we good? It says one more. What time is it? Like 5.39. Come on. I think since we're this close, we should be good. Okay, father's here. Ooh, he was close. So I'm gonna run to that room and hurry up and run out. Time is ticking. Gotta be this last room. Is it the basement? Oh, it's this box. And these two. Oh, I'm not gonna have enough time. There's one more box. 553. Yeah, I'm not gonna have enough time, but since we already got to the end with just one more box, I guess I'll just play the ending. I don't wanna like bore you guys, you know. Father's coming. We'll just let him come since we know there's just one more box left. So we got the premise of the game. We know the game now. Come take us, Father. Here's the last box. All right, Father's taking us. Oh, I got it. Leaving already? Wait, I picked up the last box. I beat the time? Yep, we're all done here. Yo, I didn't have to take the last one to the van. Bro, I was just gonna play the ending like from a YouTube video or something. I'm like two hours in on this almost. And I was like, we're already at the end, so what's the point, you know? But we didn't have to play a YouTube video. We actually beat it. Thankfully, no offense, my guy, but your house creeps me out. <laughs> I suppose you're right about that. This place does get off quite the oppressive atmosphere. Still, I'm gonna miss it. This is the only home I've ever known, you know? But it's high time for me to move on. There's no point in haunting this place a moment longer, for our time here is over. Wait, what does he mean? I have to thank you both for helping me realize that. Without you here, I suppose I never would have talked myself through my own issues. You're very welcome, dear. Honestly, this is nothing new for us. We usually just tack on another 50 bucks to the bill when we help someone's spirit move on. So he's not even here. He's a freaking spirit that was haunting the place. I'd expect nothing else from the Midnight Maids, I suppose. It's been fun. Goodbye, my friends. Where do you think you're going? Oh. Oh, father. Yo. You're not going anywhere, boy. Wait, this is Jeremiah. Who is Jeremiah? You know what? father wait that's his father that is his father no i'm done with you my whole life has revolved around you i spent the entirety of my youth trying my best to please you yet you only thought of yourself and i spent the rest of my short time here trying in vain to atone for your evil deeds i refuse to let you ruin my afterlife as well that's it oh agatha it sure took you long enough to come around joey agatha you, you still remember me? Why haven't you said anything until now? I was waiting for you to finally stand up to the big oaf. I thought giving you the silent treatment for a while might help you figure it out, but no. Well, better late than never, I suppose. Exactly. Now, come on, let's finally leave this place behind. Yes, we must depart at once. You wouldn't dare. Want to bet, old man? Wait, he's dipping out with Agatha. Yo. Look at Joseph. This is your fault. If you didn't listen to him ramble on, he'd still be here with me. You're going to pay for that. Oh, look. He like, um, sir? Cornelius. Ah, there you are, sir. Here's that newspaper you wanted. I asked for this paper years ago, you useless idiot. Not even a thank you, huh? Well, that's quite all right, sir. I brought you something else as well. Would you like to know the weather forecast? What? The weather forecast, sir. There's been a heat wave coming. I thought you should know. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, what is this? No, I will not go yet. My legacy. I must preserve it. Ah! <laughs> Cornelius got him back. Righto. Now that that's finally sorted, I'd better take my leave as well. Stay safe out here. Bye, Cornelius. 
He just wanted to get Joseph back for sending him out in the cold and him dying in it. Never a dull moment, huh? Says Naomi. Not by a long shot. Wow. What another awesome, awesome game. This was intense. Very intense. This is climb to one of my favorite, if not my favorite. Let me know in a comment below what you guys think about Midnight Made Night. How cool was that? And all the other amazing games. This solo indie developer does it by himself. That's amazing. Be sure to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe for more gameplays just like this. Also, click that post notification bell. That way you guys are notified every time your boy GWK uploads. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.